Hi everyone, it's Mary. Uh, I'm back with my completed smash book. Uh, the section for Las Vegas, I've added the photos and I think I'm done. Every time I go through it, I seem to like um, add more things. So um, it's, I'm hoping it's a finalized one, but uh, anyways, let's go through it and see what I've done. Um, just so you know, my book, I put the plastic cover back on because um, I did something kind of dumb. I was trying to, uh, I have my desk has this sort of, um, I don't know where the paint's kind of gone, come off, and I thought I would put ink to try to cover it up, but instead of putting stays on, I ended up putting my memento ink, and then I put my um, smash book on there without the plastic cover, and it, it got really, like, gummed up. Like I'll show you the back here. See, it's it's like that, but it was worse. So I just took my black soot, and I um I kind of distressed it. <laughs> so I, I'm not very happy because I really wanted the craft color, but it's all right. It's okay. Could have gotten it could have been worse, right? So um, let me just go through my book for you. I'm hoping that this will stay angled up like this so that I can show you my book better. Let's just see if that works. Okay, so uh, first of all, um, I used the smash tab here, like I've shown you in the other videos, to sort of divide my Las Vegas 2012. And um, I really like that because I have it for my New York and my other Las Vegas trip too, which is also in this book. But um, the uh, pictures that I printed on my smash book, uh, what I did was I used the eye the eye photo, but when I printed it, I used the contact sheet, which allowed me to select a bunch of photos and print them. And I print it printed it in such a nice size; they fit perfectly with a smash book. So I did that. Um, Let's just see here. The chipboard, this Las Vegas chipboard, is thickers and it's the um, foil. It's called hard, hardcover foil letters, and I thought it sort of suit the book because it's sort of shiny and it's, you know, not really blingy, but I thought it sort of said Las Vegas, so I did that, and then. Um, I used my deco pens in silver to write the dates on the side. I don't recommend it because it tends to sort of flake and so if you see my wording is not that sharp. Um, I had to cover it up with some of this um, self-adhesive name tag um, sticker the clear sticker because it was really chipping and it was I kept on trying to retouch it and it looked horrible so I did that and it, it's okay I mean it's better than what it was so um, these little butterflies are from the King Company uh, I had it in my stash I don't know where it is at the moment so but it was just King Company um, embellishments so uh, and then uh, these photos here are just photos like this one here was be we were in um, close to the airport um, in a border town and there was a Target there and I had to go get my Target uh, flip-flop set. I've heard a lot about um, on YouTube. It's this one here. and. Um, I absolutely loved it. It was like $14.99 and I walked all around Las Vegas with it and it was perfect. I never blistered. It was very comfortable. Um, it comes in, I, I got the rose gold but it comes in silver, black and uh, if I'm ever down in the States again and if they still have it, I'd like to pick up some more because they were the most comfortable flip-flops ever. Um, so then, uh, before we went on our flight, let me just put this to the side here. Before we went on our flight, we ate at Mex a Mexican restaurant, and so that's my daughter and her friend who, her my, her, my daughter's friend is coming along with us, or went with us on our trip. 
and my husband was just dropping us off um, at the airport and then this shot was actually at, at my home prior to us going through the border so um, and then me <laughs> and um, crazy thing was I ordered contact lenses and I wear the daily contacts and of course I left it last minute and so I ordered it I think it was like Thursday no Friday no, did I order? I think I ordered it Thursday and I thought usually it comes like the next day, but I think I ordered it way too late. And because it was a long weekend, apparently it didn't come till, uh, what was it? Tuesday. And I was already in Las Vegas. So I only had one pair, but I made it last and it worked out okay. But I didn't, um, want to wear it as much as possible. So I just wore my glasses on the flight and that was all right. Uh, and also, because my daughter's friend was flying with us, I made out an itinerary of what we were doing for the days that we were there, and so that her parents would know, um, you know, what we did. So I attached the itinerary here, and I had a sheet per day. Then I just put the photos behind it. And uh, this is the receipt for the Mexican restaurant. And then these are our boarding passes. Now, uh, for some of you who follow me on Twitter or more really Facebook, um, you know that my flight was canceled because I kept on posting our status. So <laughs> I had a, a cardstock sticker that says De Bomb. And I know it's supposed to be more like fantastic, but for me, the bomb, which was not fantastic, was that. Our flight was canceled and I started just doodled about it and then I put boom. <laughs> but what happened was um, this here are some photos and the first time they told us our flight was f supposed to leave 420. We arrived at the airport at 3 and they basically announced like 4 o'clock that the flight was going to be delayed till 620 and then about two hours later so about six o'clock they announced that the flight was going to be count, um, delayed till 10 or 9 40 or something of the sort and then so they because I found out through Facebook that the flight prior um, the, the day prior the day before us uh, actually they were five hours late and then uh, we also found out that the day before that they were also having issues about um, having flights delayed and so I guess people were getting really upset about it and so they decided to give us some pop and pizza to sort of you know accommodate us and I posted that we got pop and pizza and someone um, on Facebook was like well our flight was five hours delay and we got nothing but I guess because we knew that they were having such issues they just gave us a pop and pizza well then at about I, I don't know about seven eight o'clock they announced that the flight was canceled <laughs> and then to make it even crazier was um, there was a lady who was getting married the next day so she was asking are you sure we're gonna get to Las Vegas and the ticket agent was like, yes, in my whole career at Allegiant, um, we never, we've only canceled a flight once. So when she found out that the flight was being canceled, oh my gosh, I felt so sorry for her. And, uh, you know, she had her wedding party there and she still had to get her dress ironed and poor girl. Anyways, she decided at the end to just drive to um, another town, which was like, three hours away to get to the closest airport to fly to Las Vegas so but the crazy thing was that Allegiant only had 10 rooms booked for all the for all the people in the plane and I was fortunate enough to get one because I was traveling with two young girls and I asked the ticket agent if they could also make sure that there was three girls flying on their own for the dance competition too um, and they were able to get a room so that they could stay overnight and uh, fly in the morning and um, the girl actually had her her solo competition first thing in the morning so I hope she made it I never really um, heard back but I do know that the girls um, I didn't know this at the time but the one of the girls or two of the girls went to the same school as my daughter 
but they were a bit older. So anyways, so the photo here is of him announcing that the flight was delayed and then us lighting up, my daughter was lighting up for pizza because they were serving it to us. And then um, there's a picture of me in the hotel. I look so sad. <laughs> um, but that's where we stayed. So this was the envelope that um, comes with a card for your key room, right? And then this was a number that I had called to complain and don't let me, don't get me started on that. Um, I don't feel that they completely handled it quite well. Um, but I would have gone to their head office and dealt with the situation, but I didn't want to um, ruin my daughter's and her friend's trip because the head office is in Las Vegas, but I didn't want to ruin their trip. So I'll just deal with it after. Um, probably this week and hopefully everything goes well but you know we made a bad way we we made a bad situation good by taking advantage of the time we had and we went to the mall in that town and my daughter's friend believe it or not has not been to an American shopping center and we live near the border so I thought that was kind of weird so when she saw the pink store she was in heaven and went and bought some stuff and then I, um, there was a dress that I wanted, um, and I've been looking at it and I just couldn't fathom paying the price that it was, it was like 89 or $99 for a cotton dress. And I was not going to pay that, but I loved the dress and I didn't even try it on. I didn't want to try it on because I didn't want to be teased. And I just, I was not going to pay that much money for the dress. So when my daughter saw the gap, she said, Mom, why don't we go look in here? Because we, you know, usually we know that um, the American prices are better than Canadian prices. And it was. Plus, there was an extra, it was either 30% off or 40% off. And so I basically got the dress, which is this one here, um, for half the price that it was in Canada. And so I took a picture myself, and this is that... Um, um, self-laminating name badge that I get at the dollar store. I put the photo here and then a tag. I cut it up and I stuck the tag in the back. And so I have that and I bought, I um, have the receipt and the tags of the dress. And I just sort of try to keep that down by using this floral chipboard sticker. And then finally, uh, we went back to the airport, and uh, this is me waiting. <laughs> and I bring a scarf when I fly because um, sometimes it gets cold in the plane, and so I use it as a blanket. And then this is us in the plane, and this is my daughter and her friend in the plane. And I think I have another photo back here. Yeah, there we're just still waiting. And um, there's my new flip flops and my daughter uh, waiting in the chair in the airport. But it was Canada Day, so she was wearing her Canada t-shirt. And then for lunch, all we did was shared a French uh, a, a order of French fries between the three of us. So we were a bit hungry um, on the plane. But gosh, the food to order there is expensive. So I had like. Um, a, a snack pack which came with crackers and salami and my daughter had M&M's <laughs> like the small little bag of M&M's even though it wasn't a fancy bag was two dollars it was way too expensive so anyway, so that's that page right there and I actually like that page um it's so messy <laughs> which I was talking to my husband about this he would hate like if he was to do this page it would be all so nice and lined up and everything I like it messy and I like that I don't measure it and I even put like little stitching on it. This makes me look around and I love that. I know that some of you probably like it neater but it's my smash book and this is me. So uh, these chipboard uh, stickers also from Soft Spoken. Same with this one and same with this one. And then you know I have some of that smash. Uh, washi tape that I've used in here, but it doesn't stick very well. I'm not very happy with it. Um, it's some up there. Anyways, and then I just kind of doodled. Doodled. Okay, so that's that. 
when we finally arrived in Las Vegas, and this is where we stayed. And this is the key um, to my room. And um, I sort of just journaled about it. And in here were um, some things that we got. This came from our room. And this is my daughter and her friend in the lobby of the hotel when we were going to the gala or we were coming back from the gala. And uh, then this is what came in with this little package here. And this was the room. We had a suite. I got such a great deal. Um, I got a cheaper rate than what the dance competition was giving us. The Mandalay Bay um, is their regular hotel, and the hotel is a bit fancier. And so we, I got the hotel suite, which came with two bathrooms, a bedroom, and a living room sort of thing, for less than what the dance competition rate uh, for the Mandalay Bay was. So I did quite well. So this is what the room looks like without uh, my daughter and her friend in it. And this is from the door. And then the bathroom was really fancy. The bathtub had like a waterfall when you turned on the tap and it had a shower and a separate like toilet stall. And then there's the bedroom and there's the extra bathroom. So that was quite nice to stay in that. And with, you know, because my daughter's friend um, came along with, uh, with us, it was, sorry, it was nice to be able to have that extra bathroom so that if somebody was using one, the other person was able to use the extra bathroom. Anyways, I'll put that in later. And then um, we made it to the gala. My daughter was really concerned that we weren't going to, but we made it to the gala. We were a bit late, and we had to find a lady um, because they wouldn't let us in without the, um, the what are these, the wristbands. And so one of the ladies uh, looked for um, the owner of the studio so that we could get our tag so we could come in. And then we just took some photos. Like this was another dance mom, and this was... Um, a girl that my daughter um, competes against and also they did a duo together once I just put some you know cocktail sort of chipboard stickers and then we after we were still hungry so we had dinner um, well I had like chicken wings from Nathan's and my daughter had LA set because she had a panini uh, we also had frozen yogurt because I'm a uh, frozen yogurt uh, fan and so put want it and then love it and then I had this little chipboard that said yo and so we I put Gert <laughs> and then just you know the receipts for the wings and the panini and um, I put reach there because we finally reached our destination and I put beautiful there because the hotel is beautiful and then let's hook up because uh, some of the moms gave me their room number so that we could sort of hook up and go out and, you know. Um, so that's that page there. Some more chipboard stickers. And then some of that Kane Company embellishment. And then the following page. Um, this page was, uh, I guess it would have been the Sunday no we arrived Sunday so this would have been Monday and it's a bit backwards really because what we did was um, my daughter competed with her group and then after that was er first of all let me say this the competition was at 9 30 so after that we had all this time so we went out to the pool to relax and <laughs> um, I am allergic to the Sun I get hives and so there was not a lounger available in the shade and my actually to be honest there was barely a lounger available period well, my daughter found one and this waitress was kind enough to ask um, a, a lifeguard to bring the lounger to a shade for me and I tipped him two dollars and it was the best two dollars ever because I was in the shade and it was I was able to relax um, and then after that we, oh, uh, this receipt here, I bought sunscreen and sunscreen there was $17 and I was like, what? $17? Well, it even got me more upset when at the Mandalay, it was a dollar cheaper. So we bought it cause we needed it. 
And then we went for lunch because um, with a deal, we got two all-day buffets um, from the hotel. But we didn't have to use it on the same day. So we had lunch one day. And I left the sunscreen on the table. So we only used the sunscreen once, which was not very good of me. But the buffets are just gorgeous and we ate too much. And so that's a picture of my daughter and her friend at the buffet. And then after that, we went around Las Vegas and we went to the Paris Hotel. And my daughter wanted to have one of the, I call it a tomato tarp. And they call it the Fluette Tomato and she loved it still, but it, she says it wasn't as good as the last time we were there, which was two years ago. So I put fave and then uh, liked it a lot. And I had macaroons and a glass of wine. And then we also, um, in the Paris Hotel, they had the Sugar Factory. It was such a pretty store with all their little candies and the little displays, just gorgeous displays. Um, and then we ended up, I think it was at the Caesar Hotel um, they have a mall there and there's an H&M and I saw this lady wearing this cute little tank dress and um, she was she was buying another one <laughs> she was right by it and so I thought oh that's so cute I had to buy it and it was only six dollars so I asked her what size because she looked about the same height and size as me so um, I bought that and I wore it the next day so it was a great buy uh, more of the King Company embellishments and some uh, washi tape. I think this is a Recollections washi tape. And this one is a Smash washi tape. You know, more stickers like I put Relax on here and Pals and a coffee chipboard sticker because, you know, brunch. And then I got you know, the call, um, business card from the Sugar Factory and I put that on there. My tags for my dress that I bought. So... And then uh, this following page is sort of still a continuation of that day, but more the following day. So my daughter performed the her, her dance for that competition was called Word Up. So I put Word Up. And this is us at the Caesar Palace Hotel and we were going into the mall. And then my daughter took a picture of this bird because it, I mean, it was a weird looking bird. And... Um, so she took a picture of it, and then look at this page. It has a bird that's very similar to that. So I journaled about that day, and my daughter's back started aching And um, after she performed her group. And there was a mom who had um, some prescription drugs for, for her back, and she gave one to Lexi, and it really helped. So um, we were able to go shopping in that. So this here is, is the next day, and... Um, we were perform, or we were, my daughter was performing at 9.30 at night, so we had all this time to do stuff in the morning, so, um, uh, we, she was wearing the dress that she had purchased the prior day, and that's her friend, and that was in the morning, then we went down the strip, and so we, um, went to the Madame Tussauds, um, wax museum, we actually didn't go inside, but we just took pictures of the, figurines that were in the front and I said keeping it real because you know the wax this stuff is not real but and then I put wonder and curious and then this is at the Venetian and then my daughter has this tradition that she wherever we go she has to do an arabesque can you see it I don't know so she did an arabesque at the Venetian and I took a picture of that and then this is me and my daughter, and that's that tank dress that I bought. And then my daughter and her friend. More cane company embellishment, and this is a chipboard sticker. And this is the slice um, of Las Vegas is where we had dinner. And we ended up ordering salads, and um, my, my daughter's friend had the Caesar salad. I had the Panzella salad, and my daughter had the Capri salad. But she, my daughter didn't eat her salad because her back was so sore by that time. So um, behind the menu, the takeout menu, I put more photos of a candy store that we went into with these interesting items. And I took this Hello Kitty for Paula and Bona and I put it in my um, Instagram to show 
but just some cool vintage candy and then this PMS chocolate bar my husband was like did you buy a whole box <laughs> and then um, this Vegas um, display so um, I and then I just uh, framed it in the washi tape so and then I put a little Martha Stewart um, tab just so that I, people knew that and I knew that there was photos in the back there and then the this here um, just receipts of uh, things we purchased when we were shopping so um, we ate at the Mandalay buffet for breakfast that day and then we went back to Sephora because my daughter bought some mascara because her mascara kept on smearing and um, we asked someone and they said this was a very good mascara so it's the Bobbi Brown Extreme Mas Extreme Party Mascara then my daughter she ate at Chipotle's when she was in New York almost every day and she's like mom we have to eat at Chipotle's so we um, took we took out a three salads and um, it was delicious so she was absolutely right and I put some smash tape here really 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 like this we also bought some back pain medication for my daughter because she really needed it and it helped a bit and then um, we went to Starbucks and um, I took this pamphlet because it was like, I've never seen this before in Canada. It was sort of political. It was on creating jobs and that. And <laughs> I was a stalker because in the hotel, um, these people were in front of me. And I thought it was really cute. <laughs> and so I took a photo of them. And I thought it was adorable. And that's just a view um, out the window. And then we went to Walgreens because... I, the night before, I had a Mike's Hard Lemonade, and it was $7, and I was like, I'm not paying $7 per drink. That's crazy. So we went to Walgreens, and I bought a six-pack of the Mike's Hard Lemonade for $10.99, and I bought a cooler for, like, three fifty. dollars So, um, and, and, you know, we bought the back pain stuff, and so that was better. But I forgot to buy sunscreen again. And, you know, I didn't really need it because at the pool at the hotel and the Mandalay people um, that work there walk around with spray so I just use that and then we also went to Forever 21 and my there was um, a sale which was buy one thing on sale and get the second one so I put priceless because I bought four items and two of them were free and that was one of the tags and then more Starbucks right so um, I put here Lex Lexi now must have coffee before she dances. It's a superstition for her. So she had a vanilla latte, extra shot, extra hot, no foam was the order of the day. So did that. Um, more photos. This was at the Piazzo and this was at the Venetian. Um, Sephora samples that we got. Um, I think, yeah. At Sephora, the first time we went, I spent $8 because my daughter bought some elastics there. But I ended up with tons and tons of um, samples, which I understand why they do that now. Um, and this is them at Sephora. See, makeup school, and this was a makeup counter. The reason why they do that is because once you try it, you want to buy it. Because my daughter's friend ended up buying that, and we got a sample of some moisturizer and my daughter bought that so they're very smart and then this was um the carrying case for the mike's hard lemonade and i just um tore it i didn't have scissors so i just tore it and i journaled in the back um and here's the sephora see it was eight dollars for my bill but i got tons of um samples um and and actually i thought that kind of looked cute so that is this page here Sorry, this is so long. I'm trying to speed up. And then um, I ended up having to buy eye drops for my contact lenses since I only had one pair to make sure that they lasted long enough. And uh, so we went back to Sephora the next day and um, she bought the moisturizer and I bought some benefit stuff, this package. And then we got more samples and my daughter ended up buying some tumblers for uh, herself and one for a friend to bring back um, here's the Starbucks order 
the Sephora stuff that we bought. And then um, that day we also went um, to the outlets. And these are the receipts of, we went to the Adidas and we went to um, uh, Dooney and Burke. I bought a purse and my daughter bought a purse at Coach. And she was, it was funny because she didn't want, she felt bad because she wanted the purse, but she didn't know what she would use it for. And um, we had to go back and she was unhappy. And I said, you know what, Lexi, you'll use it for traveling. And so she's like, oh, okay. And so she bought the purse and it was like, 40% off and then an extra 30% off. But what's scary was when we were driving there, the taxi driver was scary. He was, honestly, I had to keep quiet because I was scared that I was going to set him off or something. And that was not fun. So I journaled about that. Um, I bought some gifts for a scrappy friend. And then the next morning, um, again, it's backwards because we went, um, this was our, Sec second last day and before that we met up for lunch with one of the dance moms and one of the dancers we ate at serendipity and I got this from serendipity took some photos so that's a dance competition that's us waiting for a table um, that's us um, they're having that frozen hot chocolate which serendipity is very famous for and then the footlong hot dog which the two girls shared we also went to the Venetian, so got that. And then um, the girls, my daughter's friend, no, one of the dance moms, she told me about Pandora years ago, and now she's telling me about this, so I took a, a little postcard of it, and I'm going to look into it more. And these are some photos at the Venetian where they were doing um, sort of like an opera, operatic show. And then... Uh, another arabesque at the Venetian near the gondola. And there's a picture of the gondola. Then we um, we weren't sure if it was too late to go to the buffet, but we made it. So we had the dinner at the buffet. And this is what the bags we ended up with. <laughs> and we put mischief because we probably bought too much. And um, I put we made it there because we weren't sure if we were going to make it in time. But we made it for dinner. And then the last day, um, we, my flight wasn't leaving till 7.20, so the girls and I, um, we had just like coffee and, um, sorry, here we spent some time in the pool and we just had coffee for breakfast and then um, for lunch I just bought two chicken Caesar salads and we split it. And then we went um, to the strip for to go up the Eiffel Tower because my daughter's friend hadn't done that. So we did that and they had a two for one coupon and the two girls went because I've gone before. So they went and I played the slots for the first time. I've never done it before. I put a dollar in, played it. So I've done it now. Um, had a snack at the Paris Hotel and then um, we also went to the New York, New York and they went on the roller coaster and then at that sugar factory I love these. You you buy the pails, they're like $15 a piece, and you fill it up with whatever candy you want. So I was stuffing the candy in, and one guy's like, oh, you're um, really putting a lot of candy in it. I was like, yes, I'm going to get my money's worth. So that was fun to do. Whenever you're walking around Las Vegas, they're always giving you coupons. So I put one in there, and I got a postcard. Um, also, at the Paris Hotel... They, th these were the tickets to go up the hotel, and then they give you like a ticket claim. We never claimed the tickets, but I just took a photo of the Arch de Triomphe because Gordon Ramsay's photo's on it, and we're big fans of um, Hell's Kitchen. Actually, last uh, trip to Las Vegas, we met him. <coughs> he was at Serendipities talking to somebody, and my husband was too shy to ask, but I asked if we could have a photo with him. And he was so nice. And he had a conversation with us. So um, that was kind of cool. And then I took a photo of the Eiffel Tower. So I did that. And then the final day, like I said, we were we sat by the pool a little bit. And then we left for the airport a little earlier because we did everything we wanted to do. And we didn't want to miss our flight. We didn't want anything crazy to happen. And it worked out well because there was no lineups hardly. So we got through the gate and we um, ate some lunch there. 
And so that's us waiting. And then uh, we actually had to check in a bag because we ended up buying more. And we when we, we went to Las Vegas, we only had carry-ons, but we had to check in a bag to fit everything. And then um, these are our boarding passes. My daughter's, my daughter's friends and my boarding pass. And, um, and then we just bought some, like, snacks for the plane so we didn't have to buy stuff in the plane. And I had to, whenever I go to the States, I always have to get seeds. I love seeds candy. So I got, I put there, got to get my seeds. And so I did that. And then on the back here, I did like a trip review and I just put things I would do different. Um, I would really compare flight prices and take the in incidental items into consideration. Sometimes the cheapest is not the best way to go. Um, I would take a collapsible cooler, pack a little less a lo so that it'd be a lot lighter. Um, what else do I have here? Uh, check in a bag so that I'm not, br so that I can bring small items that I, that ended up costing me like, um, sunscreen, cooler, snacks, things I would do again, um, make an itinerary, use my travel organizer that I purchased at Michael's and fly in flip-flops, easy to take off shoes through security. So those are things that I would do. So that is my smash book, my travel smash book. And, um, one thing that I do, like it's getting really thick, so I might need to buy that band. But um, the reason why I didn't have this cover on it before was because I couldn't put my um, pen in. So I actually cut a slot in the plastic so that I could pull this garter thing out so that my pen can sit there. Um, and if I get another smash book, that's what I'm going to do so that I keep the, like the front book nice and neat. So, um, anyways, it's... It was fun. I, I don't know. I really liked it. Now I'm thinking I need to get one just for doodling because doodling was a lot of fun. <laughs> so thank you, you guys, for watching. I'm so sorry this took so long. Uh, take care, you guys. Have a great week. Bye.